Rocket Man, I am a diehard Elton John fan. You play the uh, owner of the Troubadour here in Los Angeles, California, where Elton made his debut. What was it like uh, going back in time and 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 recreating the birth of Elton, if you it will? It was a blast. It was a total blast. Uh, first of all, I uh, I got to wear a wig, which I um, I've never acted with a wig before. Come on. And I just sort of didn't want to act with a wig. I was mm -hmm. like talking to the director. I was like, really, man? I mean, mm -hmm. can I, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I put that wig on and it was like, oh, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, it was so much fun. Uh, we had we had a blast. And Taron Edgerton is, he plays wait you see his performance. Right. It is, uh, he is at once, it's one of the fiercest uh, performances I've ever seen and also incredibly vulnerable. I think that's a surprising thing about this movie. Like, oh, I love Elton and his music, la la la. And you know, he had a trouble, troubles with drugs and stuff like that. But this movie is so surprising because you really, uh, it's very emotional film. It's really, uh, it's great. And Taron did all the singing in it too. He did all the singing and piano playing. Get out He's of here. He's insanely talented. Wow. Insanely talented. I could only imagine, um, you know, the pressure of acting and portraying somebody. Right. Okay. Acting and portraying Elton John and then singing and playing the piano. I know. I I don't know how you could pull something off I know. like and that. Redoing all their songs, all of his songs. I mean, you know, they, they switch the songs around and, and, and orchestrate it into the movie. Right. Unbelievably beautifully. And Elton has been a champion of this film. I mean, he, he worked on the script and... Uh, he just turned to Dexter Fletcher, who directed it, and just said, it's a masterpiece. I mean, it's, um, yeah. It's, I was it's actually, great. I'm such a fan of Elton John's, and I, I was hoping somehow, some way, because he does live part of the year in Atlanta. Yeah. And he is an NFL fan. And That's I, right. I met him once because he was um, at the opening of a season in New England. Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots, has invited Elton John to perform oh, really? uh, at one one of the I don't know which of the many Super Bowl ch championship uh, post game celebrations and I met him there oh, awesome. I was kind of like hoping somehow some way that I would see him at the Super Bowl but alas uh, that was not to be no. you did all your own uh, talking in the movie right <laughs> you did all your okay. no I had I had, a, had, I had a, a young boy who comes in and does it for me <laughs> yeah you know I can't I can't be bothered to talk during a movie well, I mean, it's too much energy. You were the voice of Hercules. I was. So yes. I, you know, so I, I know you've done some of your own voiceover. <laughs> so you work. know that I can speak. You know, exactly. So yes. you did your own speaking. Where yes. I was just pointing that out for you. <laughs> for more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on Directv for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.